I'm here today at the Harvest Hope Food Bank with Director Mr. Michael Murphy. And Michael, it's so good to see you again. Good to see you too. And well. I understand you're going to give us a little bit of an update as to what's been going on out here and also introduce us to a few of your staff members who are really making a difference. We can do that. So here at Harvest Hope, we, we uh, work with the eight counties that we have in our particular viewing area that's in our area out of the 20 for all over for uh, Harvest Hope. Uh, we have seen a tremendous increase for people that are needing food in our area since school is out. This is one of our most neediest times and we have uh, a desperate need. As of last month we put a half a million pounds back into the community. Last month we're looking for more in, uh, in August and as well as September. I would like to introduce some of our staff members that help us carry out our mission for Harvest Hope and as Carl Goodson who is our agency relations director and Nicole Eccles, who's our community development director. So, and uh, with them, all their help and all our support, we're able to give back to our community and help us put food back in the eight counties that we serve. One in four children go to bed hungry in South Carolina every single night. And Harvest Hope um, tries hard to make sure that we help some of those children who are receiving free and reduced lunch. Um, parents and teachers help identify children who are in need of food during the weekends. And how Harvest Hope tries to do this is they provide backpacks and they have nutritious meals and foods that they could use and they take it home on Friday and they eat the nutritious meals throughout the weekend and they take the backpack back to school on Monday and every single weekend they are provided a nutritious meal. Hi, I wanted to talk a little bit about senior programs at Harvest Hope Food Bank. A recent study found that um, South Carolina ranks number eight in the United States for, senior, for the threat of senior hunger. One of the things we found out is that approximately 17.10% of the seniors in South Carolina are facing the threat of hunger. One of the things we pride ourselves on at Harvest Hope, and that's getting the seniors in the PD food to eat, and it's good quality food and nutrition. And one of our last programs that the community may not be aware of is our, is our emergency food pantry. This is when everything else fails and we can't get, agents, get people to agencies to serve or we don't do through mobile food pantries where we take it to the community. We always have the opportunity for people to come in and be served at this location. Make plans to attend the annual fundraiser of the Red Basket event, Tuesday, September the 10th at the SIMT Center on the campus of Florence Darlington Tech. Enjoy a reception starting at 6 p.m. with dinner and a program starting at 7 p.m. Sponsorships are still available. Call to reserve your seats. Space is limited. Your attendance will help our mission to end hunger in the PD. I want to have a special thanks to our corporate sponsors, Nucor Steel and IGA Food Stores. Well, this was so informative, and thank you all so much for sharing this information. And as you can see, the Harvest Hope Food Bank really needs your support, either through donations or come out and volunteer.